why am I making these videos? Who am I? Just some random person off the street. Not really. First of all, let me tell you. My name is Conquering Famous Warrior. Yeah, that's my actual name. Not in those words. I'll make my own decisions. What a stupid thing to say. Lord, I need you every day. Actually, my name is Conquering Famous Warrior. Yeah, that's what my name means. I laughed when I found out too. I actually seriously considered changing my name last year to Sinichne Bolasnosh. That actually means cynical pain. But you can just call me Grace. It's a name that kind of got stuck to me throughout the years. I've been told that my dancerness comes through when I fall. Yeah, Gravity and I are really not close friends. Well, it likes me. I'm not really a fan of it sometimes. I've only been a serious studier of the Bible for two decades. I was saved when I was 12, and then I was also a teenager, so kind of threw me off course. I got a degree in Biblical Studies because of my passion for the Word of God. It actually gave me tools to understand what I was consuming. I want to make sure I'm reading it right and not getting it wrong. The Word of God is God's revelation of Himself to us. It's a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Last year, my world fell apart, along with my family. And I lost my grandbabies. I also lost my song. Verses that my friends kept offering me weren't even offering any hope at all, unfortunately. I was frustrated, not comforted. So kickboxing, and what I refer to as dancing like David Dance, were my lifelines. I volunteer for a Bible app and throughout this time I've been reading people's heart cries. When we hand out our favorite Bible verses to people, sometimes we get it out of context and we're actually offering false hope, intentional or unintentional. Over the last couple years, as I've reflected on my personal experience, something really bugged me about a few times I felt God had sent messages to me. Until I realized my feelings had actually deceived me. My failed business ministry just added salt to a deep gouge that had worked its way into my heart. I thought, no one wants to know what the Bible really says. Or was I wrong? And do they? All that being said, my goal in this is to get across the importance of reading scripture in context to you. If I read you this verse, Let's eat, let's drink, for tomorrow we die. Yeah, that's real scripture. But if we take that at face value, we actually will hear the opposite of what Paul was actually saying. Do you see the danger? I know Earth is a painful place to be. Trust me, I learned this last year that God gives and God takes away, but never for no reason. We're all hurting, and I know scripture can be a salve 
to our wounded souls. But as the people on one of my favorite shows called Cultish say, bad theology hurts people. Boy, there's truth in that one. And I'll tell you why. We're lying to each other, intentionally or unintentionally. We're actually handing out false hope more times than we even realize. So here's my challenge. Let's learn how to read scripture for what it really says. Let's start handing out real scriptural boo-boo bombs. Now, let's go to the Word and see what it says about how we read scripture. This is in 2 Timothy. I'm gonna read a couple scriptures. This scripture is in 2 Timothy 2. You should probably go and read all of chapter two yourself. We're just gonna highlight a couple of verses here. Verse 14. <clears throat> Keep reminding them of these things. Go and read the rest of chapter two. It says, keep reminding them of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Flip a page over to chapter three. I'm gonna read the ESV this time. <laughs> Godlessness in the last days is the title of the chapter. But understand this, that in the last days, there will come times of difficulty. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power. Avoid such people. For among them are those who creep into households and capture weak women, burdened with sins and led astray by various passions, always learning and never able to arrive at the knowledge of truth. Just as Janus and Jamres opposed Moses, so these men also opposed the truth, men corrupted in mind and disqualified regarding the faith. But they will not get very far, for their folly will be plain to all, as was that of those two men. You, however, have followed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions and sufferings that happened to me at Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, which persecutions I endured. Yet from them all the Lord rescued me. Indeed, all who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. While evil people and impostors will go on from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived, but as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, cor for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete equipped for every good work. This is important stuff we have to discuss. Let's have some biblical conversation. It's time to put truth back into the word of truth. Thank you so much for being here. If you like what you hear, and even if you don't, and you just want to learn, hit that subscribe button right there. And don't forget to hit the bell too 
So you know when there's videos here on this channel, it's time to stand up and start telling the truth. Truth isn't all relative. We were made to love, we were made to give. The reason why we're here, the reason why he gave us life. We were made to show the love of Christ. We know this is why we're here, this is why he gave us life. So let his love shine through. In everything we do, it's all for love.